everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and this is Full Purpose and Heart. And in this video, I wanna share with you an Evan Moore resource to help anybody who has um, a reading comprehension focus or they're trying to practice a little bit more in their reading comprehension. So this resource is called Reading Comprehension and it's available at evanmore.com. So let's go ahead and take a little closer look. All right, so first and foremost, if you are new to my channel and you have not checked out my Evan Moore playlist, I have a playlist with all of the Evan Moore products that I have done little show and tells about. I really have enjoyed Evan Moore. I've purchased a lot of resources myself. I've also been given a few resources from Evan Moore just as an opportunity to share with you and do a show and tell to give you um, some understanding of the kind of resources that they have available for you. They're very affordable and they have a whole breadth or spectrum of subjects that you can get. So I do have some favorites um, and I have a lot of resources that you can check out. So make sure you check that playlist. I will link it up here in the eye in the sky so you can see the other resources that I've done little show and tells for. So today is going to be the reading comprehension book. Now I've just started practicing reading comprehension with my four-year-old. Um, I've noticed that she's really been struggling understanding or regurgitating information back to me. And I found a really great reading comprehension um, product from Evan Moore. It's called Read and Write. So when I saw this come across my screen as a reading comprehension resource for this one's a third grade level, I thought, you know, this is a really good thing to have my hands on as we continue through the grades with my kiddos, especially because reading comprehension is something that is tested on standardized testing. So it's a skill that you want to be able to practice with your kids. Now, when you purchase Evan Moore products, Anytime you notice this Monday through Friday in the boxes on the side, then you'll know this is a resource that's intended for everyday practice. And as a daily practice, Evan Moore creates the resources to make them short little snacks, you could say, of the subject that you're studying. So this one is going to be a 10 minute a day practice where the student will read a passage and answer a few questions as to what they read. But the bonus to this is that they really have made it a curriculum, a flow that goes with it. Now I've purchased reading comprehension uh, resources from Teachers Pay Teachers before and some other resources. And although they have the same format, it's just a passage and some questions, I really enjoyed how Evan Moore has made it into a curriculum with a flow and a storyline and concepts that are building upon each other. The first thing that you're going to notice at the beginning of the book here is it's going to have um, visual aids that you can rip out and either hang in your classroom or if you would like to, you know, they've got lots of different things online that have more color and depth and birds or whatever it is that you want to put on the side of them. But it covers some things that I think that there are six things that people do that make them strong readers. So for example, it talks about making connections, determining important information, asking questions, comprehension, all that kind of stuff. So um, they are visuals, they are perforated, so you can tear them out and hang them in your classroom if you don't have another resource or don't wanna invest in something else. Another thing that I love, and this is all me, because if you haven't watched my channel, you know that checkboxes are my jam, but they have this nice student record sheet and it can just help you understand follow along like how many questions are your student getting correct on each of the passages. So that's kind of a nice resource, especially if you're record keeping. As a homeschooler, you have to track what it is your student has done or is doing. And this is a really easy resource to have that you can send off to those who need to track those resources for you. So let me tell you really quick. Um, first of all, this resource is available for grades one through eight. And please notice it is grade seven and eight included in the reading comprehension. A lot of Evan Moore resources um, only go up through grade six. So this is kind of a bonus because those older grade levels, it's harder and harder to find resources for them. I've noticed because I taught high school and that was my, my first realization like, oh my gosh, these older grade levels, they don't give you anything. It's so frustrating. Um, okay, number two, there's 30 weeks worth of lessons. So that's great for most homeschool life. You can do a very gentle approach. Um, you can do a couple lessons a week if you have a longer school year or a, if you're year round. Um, but it's also 
good for, uh, or it kind of coincides, I guess, for a public school classroom that has 32 weeks of school. Um, okay, the next thing. At the beginning of each week, there's like a little lesson guide for the teacher. Oh, my happy heart. I love that because previously I just opened the book and I was like, here you go. Read the passage, answer the questions. Now let's check off the box. You did it. But I love that this gives you some context and it gives you more of a structured lesson when you go to approach the reading comprehension. It's still only going to be a 10 minute day, a 10 minute lesson, but it's going to give us teachers, especially those of us who are inexperienced in teaching English, um, kind of a platform that we can begin to build our teaching skills upon. So it says in on day one, you can even kind of see there's some bold in there. It says, say this to your student. Then it says on day two, review this with your student, remind your students on day three and day five, you're going to finish up with your students and it'll teach you like most of reading comprehension comes from teacher background. So it'll tell you like, this is what you want to talk to your student about before you jump into this, this reading passage. Okay. Number three, another great thing that I love. All of the weeks focus on one reading skill. They're not just random reading passages that they're throwing at you and saying, hey, read this, answer these questions. They focus on a skill, which is so awesome for me. That was like the first thing that popped out, the third thing that popped out for me was because I got my um, learning objectives board here that you can see behind me. Check out my video. Um, I think it was just my room tour that I talked about this, um, but I can put the objective up on my objectives board. It gives us a quick sight. It, my kids' eyeballs are on it. We can do it as a part of our morning circle time as a review. And then when we come back and do our reading comprehension, I can point to it. Hey, remember, this is what we're doing. So like week one, you're focusing on making connections and it's about having a dog, I think. So you can say, hey, how can we connect this? Our neighbors have dogs. We have dogs. We see dogs when we go out or whatever it is. So anyway, that's another really great positive is it's, it has a flow to it. It has learning objectives and purposes that I can put up on in my classroom. It has visual aids and it's got the content that's there for your grade level, um, the grade level of your kiddo. Now, some kids are not reading at grade level. So make sure that you bump down. You can go down to grade one or you can go up to grade you know, eight, obviously, because they've got all of those grades. But if you have a struggling learner, bump down and give them the opportunity to enjoy reading and don't stress them out saying, this is the grade level you should be at. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So just make sure that you try to gauge where your kiddo is at so that they enjoy reading and understanding the stories that are there. So anyway, that's a pretty good understanding. Now, if you want to look at these pages, go to evanmore.com. They have a really great PDF version vi file type pop-up that you can do. I think it's through Flash Player, so make sure you have that. Um, Anyway, and you can get a really good look at all of these pages. They have it, again, 30 weeks, five lessons per week. You don't have to do them all. You can do them all, you know, practice them how you want. But it's a really, really awesome resource that you can reach out at um, if you want to practice reading comprehension, which, like I mentioned, a lot of standardized tests are using reading comprehension as one of their testing factors. So practicing this skill is something that you may want to look into if you have a struggling learner or even if you just want to kind of master the skill better for yourself or for your kiddos. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Check that description box below and I will make sure to put a convenient link for you. The Eye in the Sky is going to have my playlist for all of my Evan Moore products and you can always follow along at my homeschooling journey here on Full Purpose and Heart. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will catch you in another one. Bye.